1891, and it is a vehicle. You can barely see the V on there. Just as I was talking about quarters. Man, silver quarter. All right, folks. Ta-da! I am back to the old house. Um, figured I'd give it a while. Um, it's been like a month since I've been here. And things have changed a little bit. Looks like they haven't cut the grass in a while. But first decent signal. Right here. jumping it very well could be iron but I'm about out of any other target except questionable targets now so you gotta dig them and we might see this clip or we might not Let's see what we got in here Probably deep iron. Or a shotgun shell. Yep, shotgun shell. Well, hey, that's a good sign. There's still stuff mixed in here. Holy cow, what in the world is this? There's lead. This is weird. What in the world is this? It's obviously part to a bottle, but why is there lead in it? A lead stopper. Let me get the rest of that dirt out of there. Give me one second. Okay, this is it. It is a very old cork top. It looks like, I mean, that's what I think it is, but it's got wire going down in it, and it's got a lead base in the top. That's got to be old. I mean, they stopped putting lead in stuff to drink a long time ago. Wow. Any ideas on that one, please, please let me know. Well, it just dropped uh, about 15 degrees in like two minutes. Uh, definitely a storm coming in. Hope it don't hit us, but it looks like it's coming right for us. I also forgot to tell you, I got my wireless headphones back. And they're different. They got like a different sound to them than the old ones did. It's like a lot more crisp sound. They're great. I love these headphones. I've unfortunately broke two pairs in the past two years, but awesome headphones. I highly recommend them. Well, this is a pretty incredible signal for this spot here, how many times I've been here. And it's deep too. Check this out. 8081. Six inches. I mean, I've been through this area probably a good 20, 30 times, and I missed this signal. And everything modern here is within a half an inch. This whole area is very dry and it's very packed down. Even the old stuff is not that deep. I'm having to dig really big plugs too because the soil is just so, so dry. Okay. That's a good sign. It's deep down the hole here still. Oh, there it is. I think it's a wheat. Nineteen thirty-six. There we go, people. Another coin. 
No friends. I'm lucky that was in the side wall. I almost hit it. Nice. Is that no, that's 56, not 36. 1956. That is the latest coin that I've dug out of here. This house was gone in uh, the late 40s, I believe. Oh, probably hear the thunder. Afternoon uh, thunderstorms in Florida. Just dug a harmonica reed. This is an older one. You know, I came out into the middle of this field where there's a bunch of flowers here, and there's a iron infested like little square here so there had to have been building of some sort it is very very fine iron though and it's really hard to pick through um, I had to jump the discrimination up just for I mean this was like three inches down and it was so scratchy and gurgly so much a little iron right on the top holy cow folks just found another part to a pocket watch. This one is silver plated. It is not silver. It's very shiny, but it's definitely a plate job. Wow, that signal just came out of nowhere. Nice. Wonder if there's any more to it. There is. More signals in here, but yeah, I think that was iron. Nope, just another part to it. That's actually got some rating on it, I think. Looks like it, at least. Very cool. Well, now we got an old Zippo. Check that out. 261791. Bradford. That looks like an older, uh, mark, like an older, uh, style. Might be from like the 70s or 80s. That's cool though. Not silver again, just plated or either that or stainless. No, it couldn't be stainless. It's giving such a good signal. Nice. Alright, very next signal is a lantern part. I think that was it. Yep. I don't know how I missed this spot. It's like a trash pit area. It's the ground's pretty hard on the top layer but once you get through it it's uh, smooth sailing there we go got another remnant coin here and it is a weedy check a date here 1950 not too old but that's a weedy oh man I think I got something good here I can see a buffalo on this. I did hit it, of course, but I can see some letterings like Suver, Southern something. Let me uh, clean it up a bit and I'll get back to you. Well, this is definitely pretty cool. That is a buffalo and you flip it over and it says souvenir something. This side's pretty corroded, at least that's the side I hit. And it's got leaves coming up, but souvenir, something, and we got a buffalo. That is awesome. Very, very, very cool. Alright, well this is a pretty cool one. I'm in like a real trash infested area. Uh, there's a lot of good signals in here. I cranked up the discrimination a bit. Um, check this out. Nice little... I guess horse buckle, something like that. Real grunty, but you know, it's because of the iron there. It was like 70 to 74 with a grunt in it. So just like a bottle top. Okay, I'm racking my brain here trying to figure out what this is. I thought it was a toy car lid at first, but it's absolutely not. Um, there's some marks on it. It'll focus. 
pig cock plate. So it was plated in Hig Cock, USA. And I don't see any patent numbers or anything. It's almost like a belt slide or something, or like a belt. Looks like there would have been a pin in there. And it was a belt, I think. Now, if you know what it is, please let me know. But this looks old. Well, this looks at least like turn of the century. I'll let you know if I can figure it out. If I find marks on it or anything. Or able to identify it. Okay. Whatever this is, the patent for it ended in 1914. Can't quite read all the numbers in the patent number, though. It looks like 181768, but patented 1940. That's either when the patent started or ended. Usually they have two numbers on there when it started and it ended. 1914. Not sure what it is. Try to figure it out. Alright. It is wrap up time, folks. Let's go over the uh, clad and coins first. Got 99 cents total, not including the wheats. Four pennies, three quarters, two dimes. And one of them is like brand spanking new 2016. Um, that place I always go to always has a lot of clad there because it's a parking lot. And 1956 Weedy. And a 1950 Weedy. Got this beautiful little buckle. I think it's like a brass buckle or something. Oh, I know it's a brass buckle. I meant a horse buckle. Brass horse buckle. Most likely. A uh, little round ball. Oh, what's it? I'm not sure what this possibly could have been for. Probably off of a vehicle or something like that. Got this beautiful little buckle as well, I believe. Um, looks like it would have pin going in there, and I believe it's an old buckle, probably turn of the century. I have to do some research. It was plated at one point. It says, uh, what does it say again? Higcock Plate. Higcock, USA. No patent number, but I might be able to find some more out about that. And this guy was patented in 1914. No idea what it is or what it was off of yet, but it is old. And this guy still has me very confused. It's like a cork top top, but it's got a lead and like a copper wire going through it with a lead base. Now, I have no idea what lead would be doing in a beverage, so I really don't know about this one quite odd please let me know if you got any ideas on this one I believe this is a lantern part got a pocket watch frame silver plate Zippo patented uh, two six two five one seven one nine one I think that's the older Zippo, like 60s, 70s, 80s, I have no idea. I'll have to look that number up. Bits of harmonica reed and a big old lid. So that's it for today. I had an absolute blast. Not too hot today. Um, earlier in the day it was like 99 and then it cooled down to the 80s. So, very beautiful. Oh, I almost forgot. The best find of the day. The Buffalo Souvenir. Souvenir something. It's got zinc in it. You can tell it's got zinc. But I thought it was like an oversized nickel at first. But it's not. It's a souvenir of some sort. Buffalo. Not sure the age. I'm going to have to look this one up and look into it. I thought it was like a... a plate at first, like a uh, Civil War plate, but nope, buffalo.